Hi, I'm Tom Grindy with Telco Depot. Today we're going to learn how to terminate a Cat 5e jack. Now Telco Depot, we use the ICC brand jacks, so everything I'm showing you today is valid for product bought from us. If you're using different jacks, the techniques are the same, so just follow along with me and you'll learn how to do any type of jack. The ICC jack comes bundled, just rip the side off, and you'll notice first of all a color code. There's two different color codes on most jacks because jacks come wired for 568A or 568B. The 568 specification is what Ethernet is written around, so it tells you how to do your cabling to make sure it performs well in your environment. We always use 568B wiring. The patch panels that we buy and that we sell are all 568B. But always follow the color code and always remember when you're doing this, terminate one end to your patch panel, terminate the other end to a jack and test it to make sure that your continuity is correct and that you have a straight through connection from end to end. Okay, so what's our first step? Now we're going to be doing this a little bit the easy way because I'm not sitting on the floor cross-legged with a wire hanging down the floor and coming out through an opening. You're always going to want to have a good solid base to work from when you do this. So if you are sitting on the floor, have a solid pad or something that you'll be able to press down against because you will need to have to exert some force on these connectors to terminate them. Now we're going to use some of the handy tools that uh, you've seen in some of our past videos. They're all found in the land kit that we sell, or you can buy some of these tools individually. This is an indispensable handy stripper. Just bring it around the end of the cable, a few twirls of it, the razor cuts in, and strips the end right off. Okay? You're going to want to strip some extra cable off so that you've got plenty of room to work, although we're actually only going to use about this much of it in the actual connection part. Now we're just going to snip off the strengthening fiber get that out of the way. Okay. Now notice that we have four colored pairs tightly twisted around each other. I want you to get a close-up of this Elliot. And you'll see that each of the pairs have a colored wire and a white wire associated with them. Now the white wire does have a little colored bland to indicate that it goes with the orange, the blue, the green, or the brown. But you should really try to keep these together. Now if we look at the back of the jack, we notice we're going to use the B wiring, which is the closest here to the, the, to the contacts, and it starts with white orange, orange, then white blue, blue, white green, green, white brown, brown. What does that mean? The white orange is the white wire here in this, in this bundle. The orange wire then goes beside it. So you're going to want to get these in the right order before we start to trim them and unstrip them. So we want the orange pair first, then the blue pair, followed by the green pair and the brown pair. So once we have those in the right order, we simply use a small screwdriver or anything with a point down near the end of the cable, push it through and pull it out. That's a whole lot easier than just pulling these cables out and untwist them independently. And then we want to make sure we keep them in the right order. So it's white, blue, white, orange, then orange. Okay. Now we're going to do the white, blue pair. Again, stick the through, strip it out, and I'm going to put the white, blue, and then the blue wire. Okay. Next, we're going to do the same with the green and then the brown. Okay. Get them in the right order. Helps to straighten them a little bit as you go. The last pair is always the toughest. Okay. So there we now have all eight conductors separated and in the right order. Okay. The next step we're going to do is try to straighten them out and start to work them together a little bit. Again, it's best to kind of wiggle these wires together and they'll, they'll form a nice, neat bundle. Okay. And just slowly work them together. You don't want to be in a hurry when you're doing this part of it because you want to make sure 
you do not mess up your order sequence. Okay, so now if you can see, I've got my white, my orange, my white, my blue, my white, my green, my white, and my brown. Next, I'm going to snip these off, and I'm going to leave about a half an inch of cable there. Just use a regular pair of scissors and snip them off even. We're going to fan these out a little bit further, and I'm going to lay them right into the back of the jack and start to work them down into the appropriate slots, one wire per slot. That blue wire is hard to see in this light. Okay, it doesn't hurt to push them down in the slot. You're going to use your 110 tool next to punch them down snugly inside each uh, contact. Okay, I cut that one a little bit short. So I'm going to just twist it over a little bit and push down in there. So now if you look at this, you can see I've got all of the codes, all the wires, and it matches the color code. Now the easiest way to do it is to simply take the terminating cap, okay? And you can see the end that fits right over the connector, snaps right on, okay? And then simply use a pair of pliers. Now I've got a pair of needle nose pliers. You can use any kind of plier, particularly a, a slip lock that allows it to open a little wider. And just push it over and snap it down tight. Mm -hmm.